Alrighty guys, we're back. Uh, this is chapter 3 of the uh, Face Robot Cinema 4D workflow. And uh, in this one we'll be discussing uh, exporting for soft image and uh, importing the uh, models back in to soft image. Um, so we stopped here. Uh, we basically had completed uh, extracting our whole entire model. We've got the tongue, the lower jaw, the upper jaw. The right eye, the left eye, and the face all separated. We also capped off all the holes in the face so that uh, we have no issues uh, in soft image when uh, we get ready to rig the, the face robot. Alright, so the only thing we need to do now is we need to save. Um, uncharacteristic of me, I have not saved. <clears throat> um, the uh, model at all. Um, I also got this warning. I'm actually using, uh, I've actually upgraded finally to Cinema 4D R14. Um, so any projects saved in R14 will not work in R13. And I'm just going to click yes. Um, I'm probably not going to go back to R13. Um, there are some beautiful features here in R14 um, that I'll be discussing with you guys as well. Um, they actually changed up a lot of the workflows that um, I use. Um, one of the big ones is sculpting. Uh, um, there are certain things in ZBrush that I can do that are incredible, but um, for some quick workflows, uh, the fact that Cinema 4D has sculpting now and uh, the way it works seamlessly with uh, the rest of Cinema 4D's tools makes it... Uh, makes it kind of an interesting proposition. It's, it makes me go into ZBrush less and less these days. Especially since body paint is here as well. And uh, there's some interesting workflows with that um, that I'll be discussing um, later this month um, in the, uh, the texturing workflows with ZBrush and body paint tutorials. Uh, probably going to be coming out next week. Um, but anyway, <laughs> Um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pretty much unhide everything. And then uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and start creating some layers. Let's create some organization in here. Um, we basically create a new layer here and I'm going to call it uh, joints and rigging components and this is basically a layer that uh, is going to be set up that's going to be uh, useful in later tutorials we're basically just setting it up here and it's not really that important other than the fact that it is going to allow us to hide these bones which can often get in the way um, especially once you build controls, which I'm going to show you how to do in a later tutorial series. Um, but we can basically get those out of the editor and get them out of our way. Um, same thing with any rigging components we might create that uh, help us, that are helper objects for our rig when we get into rigging uh, our DAS figures. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hide those, get rid of those, get those out of the way. Um, we're also going to create a layer for uh, soft image FR components. Okay, so this is going to be all our face robot components. And uh, what we can do is we can just select them all and pretty much just drag and drop them. We, you kind of get this gold bar if you drag it underneath of the particular layer that you want to actually add the stuff to. The gold bar pops up underneath the layer and everything will basically be added to that layer. <laughs> Alright, so now we can just easily hide the face robot components if we don't need them in the future. We need them right now though. Um, we can also go ahead and delete the FR rig. We no longer need that at all. Um, 
we can hide uh, <coughs> the main mesh. I guess we'll call this. We also call it test and mesh or something like that. But basically, that's a uh, our DAS import mesh, which um, I'm going to go ahead and rename to test a mesh now. And uh, now we can turn on these eyeballs. And uh, we can actually use our easier uh, layer control panel now to hide her body. And then I also am going to go ahead and create a new layer uh, and call it clothes. And uh, any clothing components, uh, rings, earrings, uh, and in this particular case, her dress, which uh, I'm just going to rename to dress or even test a dress. Any components like that we can also just quickly hide here in our layers panel and now you know everything is kind of uh, golden I guess I'll ask I'll also I guess I'll also add the uh, the Genesis bone as well to the uh, joints and rigging components uh, just to knock that out of the way um, and then uh, yeah that'll pretty much take care of all of that all right, so now we've pretty much cleaned up our workflow here. We've got just the uh, soft image components. Um, and we can go ahead and save again to go ahead and save our edit. Um, and we can basically go ahead and just uh, do a delete of everything. And that just leaves our rigged components here with all their tags all our soft and mod components and then we can go ahead and just do a uh... but before we do that we just want to clean up a few more things here um, soft image will also give us an error if um, our eyes aren't exactly completely centered with their uh, with their uh, with their axes uh, there is a tool in soft image that will allow us to fix that, but um, to be on the safe side in here in cinema and to maybe do some preventative maintenance, um, we can go ahead and uh, select the right eye and uh, select modeling mode. And uh, if we go to our move tool, we can obviously see that our axis is all the way down here, which is not good needs to be centered in the eye and really it needs to be centered in the eye for um, the purposes of, of rigging in Cinema 4D anyway so we're gonna go ahead and do a center axis 2 and uh, now it's centered to the center of our eye uh, geometry which is great we're gonna do the same thing on the left eye uh, in modeling mode we're gonna go ahead and center axis 2 and uh, now both of our eyes are centered on their axis. If we move these axes around, our axis bands around, we can see that uh, we get the pivoting that we that we want to get. All right. Um. And uh, we're pretty much almost done here. Um, let's go ahead and export this out as a FBX. Soft Image is an Autodesk tool, so FBX will work just fine for uh, transitioning. And we'll call this Testa Face Robot. And so, just like with the Motion Builder workflow, uh, we want to save out a file that uh, pretty much has all of our componentry that we're going to need um, and nothing else. We don't want all those poses. We don't want uh, our HDR sky. We don't want any of that junk. We just want just the head and its materials. All right, so we can bring everything back by doing Control Z a couple of times. 
That'll give us all our components back. Uh, we can go back to the left eye and the right eye, and we can just make sure that uh, we center the axis as two again, just to make sure everything is good in our edit. And uh, we're set to go. All right, guys. So here we are in Soft Image, and um, I'm not going to do my usual spill about the interface because I'm still a little uh, unfamiliar with uh, Soft Image, and uh, frankly, the only thing I use it for is Face Robot. However, Soft Image is a very powerful tool um, from all accounts I've read. Um, you've got things like uh, Ice which apparently allow you to do some really interesting motion graphics and um, you've got all your usual modeling tools and uh, things like that and the paradigm is pretty interesting in here as well but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable face robot here to go into a face robot plugin and uh, we're going to go ahead and load up our model. So we're going to go to uh, import and we're going to import our FBX here. And uh, we're already in the correct directory. We're going to go ahead and load up testa's face robot.fbx. And uh, all the default settings here should be fine. And uh, we're going to let it read the file. And it's going to go ahead and import everything. And then uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go into our fort mode so we can kick this little icon here, uh, this little window within a window kind of sort of looking thing. And that'll bring us to our uh, fort view. And we can click uh, our object here in the top view where we can see it. And uh, we can go back into our shaded perspective view and do a shift F to frame her up. All right. So that's uh, the basic process. Um, we go through here, we can uh, hit S and hold it, and uh, that basically brings up, uh, it basically uh, temporarily selects the uh, uh, soft image transform tools. And uh, we can use our left mouse button to pan, our right mouse button to truck in, and uh, our right mouse button to orbit while we have that button held down and then we can let go of our mouse and let go of the button and we're back to our selection tool all right um here in soft image we've also got the x c and v keys which will allow us to switch between our uh, translation our rotation and our scale tools so that's uh, some of the basics there now in soft image we're going to need to create a new project to actually put our project in so uh, go ahead and create a new project and uh, we'll call it testa and uh, we're going to go into Windows Explorer here I've got open on my second monitor um, and we're just going to copy this address out we're going to go ahead and push that back to the second monitor here and uh, gonna go ahead and just delete all of this out and do control V and with that in there uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit browse and now we're in the correct directory we want to be in but uh, what we want to do is we want to actually create a new folder uh, for organization's sake because um, organization is the most important part of any of this multiple workflow um, training. If you get nothing else from my tutorials, uh, organization is one of the top, top things. Alright, so we're going to select that folder and we'll just basically save all our soft image project stuff in uh, the soft image uh, folder for Testa. So now we've got a soft image project and now soft image will allow us to actually save our scene. So as you can see, um, it's created a soft image project called Testa, and um, it's going to allow us to save in this scenes folder, this scene, which we can call Testa underscore FR, and click 
click OK. And now um, we've saved our scene, we've imported the file. That was all pretty simple. And now in the next chapter, we'll uh, move into actually rigging our character for Faith Robot. So see you guys there.